was the youngest of, uh, of nine, the last to come along. Uh, sat at the little table on the side of the, the room, always had to battle to get my views uh, across or to be able to express it, but I had uh, extraordinary role models. Uh, my father, who was very uh, uh, ambitious for his children and was a great supporter, a mother who was the safe haven, devoted to her faith and also the uh, love of history. Uh, my older brothers, who were uh, great uh, heroes of mine, and who were inspiring figures all the way through my life. My brother had been elected to the Congress, and he asked me whether I wanted a tour of, of, of Washington, and um, I uh, welcomed the, uh, the opportunity, and he brought me around to the uh, House of Representatives and brought me to the United States Senate, he brought me over to the Supreme Court of the United States, pointed out the White House. He gave advice to me then, which uh, really uh, stuck with me. I was um, probably 12 years old at the, uh, at the time. And he said, look, you'll, you'll visit the buildings now. You'll see these buildings. Be... But he said that the really importance of this visit is that you take an interest in what is, happens inside these buildings uh, for the rest of your life. And I thought, well, that's a nice sort of idea. But, uh, you know, when, when are we going to get hot dogs or something or other, or go to a baseball or a football game. But the resonance of that message uh, stayed with me, uh, with me uh, all of my life. It's the way, uh, only way really our democracy is going to work is if people take the interest, take the time. Our history and our tradition is filled with millions who have made this country the great country as it is. All eight of my great grandparents arrived in East Boston at the dock. I can look out my window. Uh, in the uh, JFK building in, in Boston. I can see the dock that they arrived at. I can see the stairs, which are called uh, the golden stairs that lead on up into East Boston. Every one of them went up in that, uh, not knowing what was going to happen. And, uh, they were fortunate, some were fortunate, and we were able to participate in the uh, democracy. It's a great gift. When I first arrived in the United States Senate, it, it was primarily in knocking down walls of discrimination. We still have a ways to go, but we were looking then after passing Medicare, Medicaid, higher education at that time. I've been um, faced both adversity, witnessed great uh, uh, success uh, in the times of my, particularly my brother's uh, sort of uh, achievement. But I, I think uh, this this is a. Uh, uh, the, the, the sort of the values of our country or society are worth fighting for. And um, I see people who, who struggle and struggle very hard to try and make a difference for the nation, which inspires me. That school teacher, that, that law enforcement, that legal defender, that's uh, trying to, uh, that health care worker, trying to give health care, trying to give education, trying to uh, bring the Constitution to people who didn't know that they had constitutional rights and, and liberties. One was uh, religion, which is very, very important, uh, particularly for my mother and father, but also for the members of our family, and has been incredibly important in terms of my uh, life, uh, particularly facing some of the real challenging times uh, that I've had to face, uh, members of uh, my family that have been lost, and other kinds of tragedies. Feeding the uh, hungry and giving uh, to the uh, those that are, are thirsty and clothing the naked, and. Uh, visiting the, welcoming the stranger and visiting the imprisoned. These uh, words can be simple words, but they can also be uh, guiding words. And they've been guiding for me in the United States Senate. There's a very still a, a, a core understanding and awareness that uh, America is just not a land, but it's a promise. And it does seem to me uh, this uh, particular year, as we're coming into the presidential year, the, the uh, energy and the liveliness and the enthusiasm, in, on the, particularly on our side, the Democratic side with the Democratic candidates, uh, is very alive and very well and very involved. And I mean, the, the polls reflect it, but all you have to do is see the turnouts of people that are, are turning out and involved and engaged. I, I think uh, programs change and times change, uh, but uh, values uh, really don't change.